No, I'm just saying the BT, the BT thingy, that one ATV or something. All right, guys, we are at Chucker's newly renovated Sandy Bay. I don't think they can hear me. They can hear me. You can't hear me, right? It's hot, but we have to stay messed up. And I have my little sanitization bottle in my pocket. <laughs> Um, today we are supposed to be doing horseback riding. I'm going on the ATV. I'm driving it. Um, we have a catamaran cruise and then we'll walk around and see what's really good. So we'll take Ooh. you along. <laughs> for my turn but right here so now we are go out on the horse in the water and um, why am I tell you no <laughs> um, I'm not really a huge fan of horses because they tend to get very what you what would you say now unpredictable you know they can just decide so I don't really want this person on my back but okay Munchkin really really loves it so we went out on the horse I don't know if I'm ready for this So right here, so now you see them a gallop gone left me. A little did I know, so my horse did I got start gallop too. Whee! <laughs> yes, in the water, nearly pitched me off. So it was that's why the camera is so kind of shaky and so because me I try balance the camera and never realize that uh, homeboy did I go jump up and down. I need to get one of them like GoPros that can strap onto my forehead and so when me I do them adventurous things here. But it was so much fun. Like the horse is like belly deep in the water at this point. They take you out in a nice like semicircle. You're not go too far, and the water is really shallow. So you can see it looks like we're far out, but we are really not that far at all. Right here, so the horse them behind me now. Because me slow down, me free it. The horse them behind me. Look, big fighter broke. <laughs> Woo child, so we just did one semicircle and we're pretty much going back. We pretty much do a circle because we'll go right back where we start. Now, so circle go. So we're off the horses and we are walking around just kind of checking out the property seeing what else is there at this point i am waiting to go onto the atvs um i can't i couldn't take munchkin because you have to actually have a driver's license to go on an atv it's not like a we call it dune buggy where you can have a passenger so i left her to like lounge around on the swing set and so and wait on me so they have like cool this this really cool area here where they even the beds are swinging or you that can lounge around yeah just came off of mud 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 yeah man so we got so i just got off the catamaran no the catamaran is coming up next i just got off the atv that's why you're gonna have to excuse my helmet here um, that was my first time on an ATV. It was scary. <laughs> um, she was not on the ATV. You have to be able to drive to go on the ATV. Next time I'll do the dune buggy one, but I've been on a dune buggy. I've never done ATV, so I wanted to <sighs> do that one. It's like the ATV, one of those very open vehicles, but it's less 
theory. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess once you get the hang of actually keeping a steady rev, which as someone who used to drive a standard for so long, I don't know why that was a problem for me, but by the time they reached to where the time turn around my pro, it was scary though, I won't tell a lie. Look how I come off it though, because I, I decided I wasn't going to punk out, I was going to go full rev, look how I come off of it. <laughs> Like I turned the camera upside down, round and round. I don't know if you could actually see that, but I am full of mud and my helmet was... I am actually so happy that we are required to wear masks everywhere now because the fumes would have killed me. And I should have remembered that from the last time I rode a dune buggy, but anyway. Yeah, I'm very happy that I had on the mask and we had on the helmet with the visor thing. So I, I felt pretty good because the helmet came off. Anyways, um, so we're gonna have lunch and then kind of chill for a little bit I'm going to try and find a pack to wash off and then we do a catamaran and a scuba power snorkel I don't know how the power come into the snorkel but we'll find out but I am having a blast so far how's it for you mama? hello over here yeah how's the trip going for you so far? it's good are you enjoying Chaka Sandy Bay? yes yes yeah. <laughs> alright you don't know yet, you know. But whenever you hear this song, you have to act a certain way. <laughs> You'll get indoctrinated soon enough. So right here in the background, I'm still singing back that ass up, but I decided to mute it and do a voiceover because Men I won't get no copyright strike on YouTube. <laughs> but you can see I'm having a grand old time singing the song and dancing right here. We've had lunch at this point. I'll put up the picture of what we ate somewhere on the screen here. But now we're just kind of chillaxing in this absolutely gorgeous pool. The pool was humongous. And even though there was, you know, it was in the height of pandemic because this was August 2020 when we went, I think. And so, actually no, because Munchkin cut school to be here with me. So, this was, I think, in October. Yes, October 2020, because it was close to my mother's birthday. And, you know, people were there. Like, we had a good group of tourists and everything, but we had the pool to ourselves. So, we were chilling out after um, lunch. And the only reason why I'm chatting in the video, but I, I chose to do this over... What do you call them voiceover because the music in the background and again i don't want to get a copyright so i'm just telling you what we're talking about i'm showing you all of the little things that they have out in the water features in the water they have water features out in the water like you see that come up behind me one man did i try to get up on it and trust me it's not as easy as you think because the water out there is like maybe way steep and so he must struggle with the water and i struggle with the hammock and it was one big struggle <laughs> So at this point now we're out of the pool clearly and we're just like hanging out taking pictures around the property it is really pretty and as you can see it was a gorgeous day and then I went over to the what I'm calling something again uh, waiting on the catamaran cruise you can tell me pointing to it there but that that point took a while like we were waiting for hours for the cat to like finally finally you know we're on the cat summer one swimming. That's that guy over there. Sun abon me, sun bon face, watch that Jesus. Sun me up. We are connected to the devices in my chest.
imagine me never take no actual footage of anybody power snorkeling but they give you this machine right here and it allows you to swim fast very fast so you can actually swim in the deep deep water and it really trust me it make a difference i loved it i have to go back and try that one again hi you know she watched the video with me and count said she was on the phone seven times in the video alone <laughs> Next time we go on road, phone a left in the car. What me say? No matter how awesome of a day you have, you carry them go road and show them a good time, and them ignore you. Them <laughs> not ignoring you. All up in the phone. Next time I'ma leave the damn phone. Anyways, guys, we are wrapping up our trip from Chaka Cove, Sandy Bay in Hanover. It was amazing. Um, Sandy Bay is close to Negril. It's also close to Montego Bay. So whichever side of the island that you're actually staying on. Any part in the well, west where I want to say. That I want to say right there. So. Um, whichever point you choose to stay on, it's su supremely close to both of them. And it was an awesome day. We came and we started with horseback riding with both, both of us have done that enough times where was, you know, it was like, okay, it was... It was fun. All right, cool. So at least one of us completely enjoyed it. Um, I get nervous around horses because them, them, they can go any way. And you know, when they decide that you are holding onto the reins too tight, um, so um, I could do without the horse part. No. But um, that's just me, clearly. And the ATV was awesome, and the party crews and the snorkeling, the power snorkeling. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to do that one again. Um, hopefully in another location. We didn't see much fish or wildlife or anything this time around. But we saw some things, you know, it wasn't a dead ocean. But it was uh, it was amazing. It was fun. It's the first time I had ever been power snorkeling with the little machine that they give you to kind of go out. I couldn't believe how deep it was. It was awesome. So if you guys are staying in either Montego Bay or Nick Real, come check out Chaka Cove. Sandy Bay is an awesome day for like adventure and water sports and it's a beautiful location and the vibes did turn up. So we are, it is like 5.15 now. We are three hours away from home. Curfew is nine o'clock. So I you know I'm not drive fast because when I drive fast, I'm, I will obey all speed limits. So Godspeed, we make it home okay. See y'all next time. Walk good.